Wood Carving Arts. Hey everyone, I'm here with Kaya's master carver, Mr. Patuk. Parala Rivsi, welcome to my wood shop. What can I do for you? Can you show us how to carve some projects out of wood? I would be happy to teach you. Koyana, thank you. I've sketched out some ideas in my notebook. Tap the arrows to see the other projects. Tap the notebook to start a project. A spoon. A handle for an ulu knife. A whistle. A bowl. Make your own relief carving. A spoon. Fine. Come, let's get started. I'll show you how to carve a traditional spoon. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. What's a grease pencil? A grease pencil is a special kind of pencil made of wax for drawing on wood. when you're ready for the next step. We did it! You drew the outline so neatly. It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a gutter adz. What could you use to learn about the tools in my wood shop? I found a website about carving tools. We can use it to pick the right one. An adz is a carving tool used to cut a rough shape out of wood. Lip adz, gutter adz, straight adz. When I'm reading and I don't know what a word means, I look for clues in the words and pictures. The picture shows different adzes. Which tool looks like an adz? Yee, yes, that's the gutter adz. Use the gutter adz to create the basic shape of the spoon. Tap to chop off a chunk of wood. Did you know there's a baby adz? Aww! <laughs> Why is it called a baby adz? It makes much smaller cuts. The bigger the tool, the more wood you'll remove at once. Tap the arrow if you want me to finish this step. You're a great carver. Tap the arrow when you're ready for the next step. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. Yoy! Wow, you worked hard. Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a curved gouge. Let's read about it on the website. Use a curved gouge to scoop out the interior of a spoon or bowl. Choose a different tool for carving the outside. Interior must mean inside. Which tool could scoop out the interior of the wood? Yee, yes, that's the curved gouge. Use the curved gouge to carve out the inside of the spoon. Swipe to scoop out a piece of wood. What kind of wood is this? The wood we're using comes from an alder tree. It doesn't grow very big, so it's perfect for smaller projects. Dabra, all done! Nice! You carved out the wood so well! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a hook knife. Let's read about it on the website. The hook knife's shape is great for carving a concave shape, like the inside of a bowl or spoon. 
concave must mean the inside part of a spoon or bowl. Which tool could carve out the concave part? Eee, yes, that's the hook knife. Use the hook knife to finish the inside of the spoon. Drag the tool across the wood to shave off the rough spots. Why do we need to wear gloves while we're carving? We wear special cut-resistant gloves to protect ourselves when working with sharp knives. Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. Let's read about it on the website. Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Hmm, this is the wrong tool. Sandpaper smooths out wood, but you have to throw it out after you use it. Let's read the website again to find the right tool. Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Eee, yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out your spoon. Drag the tool across the wood. Do you always use a scraper on your carving project? Sometimes I don't, and keep the rough texture of the wood to give it a different look. Nice! You smoothed out the wood so well. Add walnut oil to stain and seal your spoon. Drag the brush across the wood. Does the oil make it taste like walnuts? <laughs> now me, no. The oil helps bring out the beautiful grain or patterns in the wood and makes it safe for us to eat with. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. The oil finish looks amazing! We made a spoon! You can use a spoon like this to serve food to your friends and family. They can also be used at special ceremonies where our people gather. Masicho! Thank you for your help! Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving! Kika! Let's make another project! A handle for an ulu knife. Great choice! I'll show you how to carve a handle for a traditional knife called an ulu. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. We use a grease pencil because it draws well on green wood. Why is it called green wood? It doesn't look green. Green wood means the log is freshly cut and still wet. That makes it hard to draw on. Dabra! All done! This looks great! It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a straight gouge. Let's read about it on the website. Use the wide tip of the straight gouge to quickly remove excess or extra wood. Excess must mean extra. Which tool could remove excess wood? Hmm, this is the wrong tool. A straight knife carves designs into wood. Let's read the website again to find... Eee, yes, that's the straight gouge. Use the straight gouge to create the basic shape of the handle. Tap to shave off a chunk of wood. What do you do with all these wood scraps? Instead of throwing them away, I like to put them in my garden. Tap the arrow if you want me to finish this step.
when you're ready for the next. How does this look? Yoy! Wow, you worked hard. Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the scraper? Tap me if you need help reading the website. Eee! Yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out the handle of your ulu knife. Drag the tool across the wood. We did it! This looks great! Add walnut oil to stain and seal your handle. Drag the brush across the wood. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. This looks great. It's time to put the Yulu knife together. I've made two holes in the wood for you. We wear special cut-resistant gloves to protect ourselves when working with sharp knives. Tap each piece to attach the handle to the blade. Nice! Your project looks fantastic! You made a beautiful handle for an Ulu knife. Ulu knives were traditionally used by Anupiat, Yupik, and Aleut women. Wow! That's awesome! Masit Cho! Thank you for your help! Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving! Kika! Let's make another project! A whistle. That's one of my favorites. I'll show you how to carve a whistle. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. How does this look? You drew the outline so neatly. It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a straight gouge. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the straight gouge? Yee, yes, that's the straight gouge. Use the straight gouge to create the basic shape of the whistle. Tap to shave off a chunk of wood. if you want me to finish this step. We did it! Yoy! Wow! You worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a V-gouge. Let's read about it on the website. A V-gouge is used for carving grooves or deep lines in wood. Grooves must mean deep lines. Which tool could carve grooves? E, yes, that's the V-gouge. Use the V-gouge to make small cuts along the edge of the whistle. Swipe to cut out a piece of wood. Do you ever use wood from a spruce tree? Spruce trees have too much sap and don't cut well. But I do use wood from other trees like cottonwood, birch, and cedar. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. Adiga! Good job making such neat cuts! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the scraper? Eee, yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out your whistle. Drag the tool across the wood. Nice! You smoothed out the wood so well. Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a straight knife. Let's read about it on the website. Use a straight knife to carve intricate designs. The carving is really detailed, so intricate must mean detailed. Which tool could carve an intricate design? Yee, yes, that's the straight knife. I've traced a design on the wood for us. Use the straight knife to carve the design into the whistle. 
drag the tool along the outline. Why do we carve different designs into wood? Every design we carve has a special meaning. For example, they can tell stories, honor our people, ancestors, nature, and so much more. How does this look? You carved a beautiful design. It's time to attach a string so the whistle can spin and make noise. I've made a hole in the wood for you. Tap each piece to tie the whistle together. We did it! Nice! Your project looks fantastic! Our whistle is all done! But how do you blow into it? You don't. When you spin it, it makes a whistling sound. Masit Cho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving. Kika, let's make another project. A bowl. Kain, come, let's get started. I'll show you how to carve a bowl. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. This looks great! It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a gutter adz. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the gutter adz? Yee, yes, that's the gutter adz. Use the gutter adz to create the basic shape of the bowl. Tap to chop off a chunk of wood. You want me to finish this step. Tap the arrow when you're ready for the next step. Dovra, all done. Yoy, wow, you worked hard. Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a curved gouge. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the curved gouge? Ta Yee, yes, that's the curved gouge. Use the curved gouge to carve out the inside of the bowl. Swipe to scoop out a piece of wood. Nice! You carved out the wood so well! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a hook knife. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the hook knife? Ta eee, yes, that's the hook knife. Use the hook knife to finish the inside of the bowl. Drag the tool across the wood to shave off the rough spots. Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the scraper? Ta eee, yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out your bowl. Drag the tool across the wood. Mr. Batuk. This looks great. Add walnut oil to stain and seal your bowl. Dov 
Zebra. All done. The oil finish looks amazing. We made a bowl. In the past, bowls like this one were used to carry food to our ancestors. Masicho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving. Kika, let's make another project. Make your own relief carving. Ah, relief carving. I'll teach you the art of carving a picture into wood. A relief carving is created by carving a design into a flat piece of wood. They were often used to illustrate the history of a family or home. But you can carve whatever you'd like. Here are your tools. But you need to find one more before you can start carving. Time to choose your last tool for relief carving. You'll need a straight knife. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the straight knife? Tap. Yee, yes, that's the straight knife. We have all the tools we need. Pick a tool to start carving. Straight knife. Different tools will carve different sized lines. Try it out. Wow! The wood becomes a lighter color as you carve deeper into it. If you want to get rid of all the wood shavings, tap the broom button. When you're all done with your carving, tap the check mark. Nice! You're so creative! V gouge! This is one of the ways carvers can create a piece of art. Masicho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready. Kika, let's make a spoon. A handle for an ulu knife. A whistle. A bowl. Make your own relief carving. <laughs> 